Hello Interwebs and welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Let's Listen to Poor Voice Acting by yours truly in The Mask of the Betrayer. Last time we were in the Ice Troll Lodge, blabbing with a bunch of weirdo berserkers. And we were originally planning on next to check out the two temples here, but instead I think we shall go to the prison first. As we saw with the shadow dogs of Moss and Tear, things are not I exactly getting easier. So I think it's better that we go see if we can recruit anyone to help us. Mainly a meat shield would be a nice find at this point. I think we explored the majority of the surroundings on this side of town as well already. Yes, we have looted this mound. And yes, uh, we also have this quest to find a winged sister of two winged <laughs> people, <laughs> persons, things, creatures, whatever they are. And I have a feeling that the temple of Kelemvor will be the key place in finding her. So now we'll have to recheck recheck this area a bit because I can't remember exactly how much we checked. I don't believe we were up here. Here is a temple of the three. We won't go there yet. There are open doors there leading to somewhere. No idea where, so let's not go there yet. This is not much of a temple, I would say, to be honest. <laughs> I guess we might as well check this temple out as it's basically a canvas and three statues. And something gold and a magic wand. Which Lord cannot identify. Yes. I think Sophia had the higher lore. Another wand of summoning. Guessing a summon creature four. What was this? Summon creature four as well. Let's dump it in the bag. Yes. And I don't think wait a second. There is a dirt mount down there, but how can we get down here? Humpty dumpty from somewhere back there. I don't believe we've been back there, or have we? <laughs> Wait a second, it's behind the Ice Troll Lodge. I guess that's the one that we just checked. <laughs> I think. Maybe. There's a barrel back there too. And as you can see from the flickering, I still haven't managed to solve the issues with the mouse. I did manage to open it and clean everything and check the buttons out and the result was that it worked perfectly like new for I don't know five minutes and then it started again with every single button. <laughs> so my conclusion is and advice to all of you never buy a razor mouse. Seriously this sucks. Statue of Mistra depicts the goddess Mistra called Mistress of Magic and Mother of Mysteries. Mistra is believed to be the embodiment of the weave of magic that envelops the world. And what is this? Statue of Chontia represents the Earth Mother Chontea, also known as the Grain Goddess and the Great Mother. Chontea is the goddess of ag agriculture and summer. Some of her worshippers claim that Chontea is the creator of all mortal races. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, we have... Ah, uh, okay, I'm guessing... We have to use use from the menu to actually use the statues, which results in nothing. <laughs> Mielikki. I have no idea how it's supposed to be pronounced in English, guess. I think Mieliki is actually a Finnish, some old, I'm not sure, but the name, it does exist in Finnish too. 
Well, yeah. Statue bears the graceful vis visage of the goddess Mieriki, known as Our Lady of the Forest. Mieriki is the patron goddess of rangers, druids, and dryads. Okay. Katya. Though her features are obscured by her mask, this witch is obviously quite young, probably no more than 17 years old. She seems nervous and self-conscious in her new role. Or perhaps she is simply unaccustomed to the clamor of a large town. Let's chat with her. For as long as Shiva approves, I am permitted to trade with you from our stores, if you wish. Oh, how nice. Would you care to see what we can sell you? Uh, no thanks, not yet. Let's Who's use Blessed of Joaquin and see if it works here. I guess not. Not with her, at least. Okay. Oh yeah, now we could sell the few traps that um, Lord was carrying. Potions of heal. I guess we shall buy a few. Buy two for Lord and well let's buy these two but we'll give them to Sophia. Stone skin scroll is never a bad thing to have so let's buy one for Lord. Oh, Sophia, come closer. Come this way. See, oh, she has luck stone, yep. Amulet of natural armor plus five wouldn't probably be bad for her, except I think braces of armor. No, they give armor AC, so they would stack. Hmm, either one to all skills or armor class I think armor class we can always then switch this to someone else maybe later what is this brooch of shielding Meh. healers kits yes please Problem is, of course, I in think you've me for a horse and wagon. yep, carrying them. Let's get the plus six too. Now she is again encumbered, and this is a still don't weigh anything. So I guess we should sell something from from the greater magic bag, but what to sell? Yeah, we will sell the great axe, the axe of the I calling. Me for a horse and, wagon. and that was enough already to remove her encumber encumbered state. I we'll sell the axe of the bear king too. We'll use some other weapons yes. for future companions. Okay. What about these two? Kazimika Vadoi, or something. Beneath her ornate mask, this woman has a long bony face and cold, unsmiling eyes. She is unusually tall for a Rashemi witch, and her bearing is proud, stern, almost regal. Let's chat. And well met. What sin did you commit, foreigner, to rouse the bear god's fury? You will not hide your secret for long, I assure you. I didn't do anything. And here Shiva Whitefeather. Though this woman's hair is grey and her dress unadorned, she wears an elaborate mask suggesting a high status amongst the sisterhood of Rashemi witches. The big guard still roars for your blood, foreigner. Why do you stand on our sacred ground? Yeah, the prison is really difficult to find, especially with a map. <laughs> Okay, well, we could ask if we could get some additional info on Oku, the cowardly god. What do you know about him? He is an old god, last of the great beast lords, whose forefathers spoke the words of men and ran free with Bala's pack. Beyond that, I know little. I guess we'll try the bluff insight check. No, you're hiding something, holding something back. 
I have told you what I know of the bear god, foreigner. Spirits whisper rumors amongst themselves, and I have heard those whispers on the breeze. Some of them say that the bear god struck a bargain with an eater of souls, that he swore an oath, and this oath cost him and his people dearly. But the whispers of spirits are never to be simply believed. One does not simply believe the spirits and their rumors while walking to you know where. They are echoes of truths, reflections of things seen through mist and dream. Okay, well that wasn't much, <laughs> honestly. Well, what is this place? Some sort of temple? Yes, a temple of a sort. Here we worship the triune goddess amidst the rushing of the river, the smells of the grass and the trees and the water in the sight of spirits and mortals alike. And the statues? What goddesses are those? They wear many names, but you know them as Chontea, Mieliki and Mistra. Amongst my people they have different names and different masks. Take Chontea, for example. Here she is called Bala. That was also her name in ancient days when she roamed wild across the world, and that is the name, the mask, that we revere. So the gods have different masks in this land, different personalities. A person, or a god, becomes the mask he wears, but he cannot truly escape what lies beneath. In the end, there must be a reckoning between them. One must overcome the other. All things arise from such struggles between identities, in the world without and in our tiny worlds within. Okay. Starting to get the picture on the name of the campaign, kinda. <laughs> These people are obsessed with masks. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Gah. Okay, well we know they sell goods or supplies, but we don't know if this... Uh, if Shiva does, or Shiva whichever. Shiva sounds kinda funnier. Maybe I'll call her that. Does this temple sell goods or supplies? Yes, Katya is responsible for barter and coin. Okay, farewell. Yes, we already checked her selection. Okay, we won't go up there yet, so... Let's see, is there... Anything... Here, I guess we should go around then from down here. Unless we can go through here. No, we cannot. So, let's go around. No biggie, no biggie. Kaji is really fast. Oh, there are fresh graves there. Mm, from where can we... Oh, there we go. There's an opening in the fence, and the prison is right there in front of us. I'm guessing these graves belong to some prisoners, most likely. Let's change the camera a bit so we can see further up there. Okay, let's go check. Fresh grave. This grave was dug recently, so the soil is still loose. You could probably dig up whoever was buried here, but would you really want to? Yes, I would. I really would want to. Okay, well, I think those are pretty much the same state, but let's use this one. Fresh meat in a fresh grave. Unidentified heavy shield and some gold. Oh, hello. And an angry Telthor. <laughs> Oops, you must have done something grave to offend the spirit. Ha, ha, ha. Ha! 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 Now, wasn't that a pun? Puns galore! Okay, let's see what we should do. Hopefully, we won't die horribly. Though, that is not... ...impossible. That is very possible and even probable. Yes. What should Sophia do? I don't know, because I don't want to waste spells. There's the other grave too still left. 
Okay, let's use something nice like... Uh, hmm. Disintegrate and... Polaray. Of course we could put... Let's see if we can manage to use Kaji to put stone skin on Lord. Okay. Seems the targeting thing won't work and Kaji doesn't want to accept my command. There we go. Look at them. Little ducks all uh -oh. in a row. Yes, Kaji, trouble's coming. <laughs> he sounds funny. Funny bat. He looks like a bat, so he's a bat. Bring it, Mr. Angry Telthor. Oh, this stone skill will still help us with the next grave ghost thing. La 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 la. Okay, hitting is not working too well, so. Oh, now he died. Huh. Sucks to be you. Yes. Okay, let's check this heavy shield out. Heavy shield plus three, that goes to a moichant. Yes. Oh, he actually dra did drop something. Essences. Well, we all know who will pick those up. Yes. Totom. Yes. Totom. Totom. Where was the other one? There. Did I see something behind there? Oh, yeah, but that is next to the. Temple of Kelimvor, we'll check that after the prison. Okay, same here. Yes, I really want to dig, dig up whatever's here. An unidentified armor. And the same thing, an angry Telthor. Doom to doom to doom. Safia isn't really guard. needed here. These guys aren't really anything that bad yeah. this guy especially he is kind of stupid oh yes we didn't no yes we did examine and the same pun is there yeah excuse my confusion state <laughs> I blame the heat there is yet another heat wave. Just nicely in time for when I finally got to continue again doing this. The universe knows. Yes. And does its best to interfere with me. me. I have such yes. Oh yeah, why did I <laughs> change control me. from Sophia? I have, oh, I have no idea. Does this commoner have anything new to say? May the Triune Goddess grant you a quick death foreigner for Oku will surely not. No, they won't and Oku won't because he cannot kill me. I am invincible. I am related to the Black Knight who always triumphs. Always. No exceptions. Okay, I don't see anything back here, so let's... Let's enter the prison. Oh, there's a barrel back here. Let's not enter the prison yet. Loot, 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 loot. There are two barrels here. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, Sophia can grab that barrel's contents. Yes. Yes, you may. Restoration scroll. Which, of course, she cannot use. Can Lord use this? Lord can at least carry it for now. Yes, he can. I think you've mistaken. Yes. Then let's check the scale mail plus four. I think you've mistaken it for And again, she's encumbered. Damn you. Yes. Oh well. Can't help it. Sophia will just be on slow mo. 
for now. I guess we will save here. And enter the den of sin and impurity. And filth. This prison reeks of the desperation of doomed men. Perhaps here you will find someone desperate enough to... I don't know, commit suicide? Something. Um, Tirza the Old. As you have disturbed the spirits, you also disturb me. For what reason are you here? Um, Shava, White Feather, Shaved White Feather, <laughs> told me I could find help here against the spirit army. Help from this lot, trust in their help, and you'll find yourself alone when trouble comes. But if you wish to persist in this, in this foolishness, young son, you may speak with the prisoners. Be warned, two you need not fear, but as for the third, guard your thoughts. Sounds interesting. Who is this third one? I wish to know. Tirza is the supervisor of the Malsantir prison, as her name implies. Oh, it's a she. Okay, so he sounds a bit masculine. Unlike Justin Bieber. Uh, yeah, I know. Bad joke. Anything regarding him is a bad joke. As her name implies, this sour-faced witch looks old. Her lips appear to be perpetually pursed, perhaps to keep her teeth from falling out. How charming! Okay, does she have anything else to say? Maybe. No, her voice changed mysteriously. She is weird, so... You have to forgive her. And her teeth are falling off, so... She has to speak weirdly to keep them from falling off when she opens her mouth. Mighty Groznek. <laughs> the coarse, brutish features and powerful muscles of this humanoid give him a fearsome presence. Despite the nature of his surroundings, he seems oddly at peace. Does he now? Well, let's chat with him. You want something from me? Um, I bring an offer. Your freedom in exchange for the use of your sword arm for a time. I have no interest in your offer. I am done with killing. Well, aren't you a weird, especially if... He's here, Nord. He looks like one. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone like you before. What are you? Joeb the Cutpurse butts in. He's Hagsburn. Mother was a hag, father was some unlucky fellow. Quiet, small one, I can speak my own words. He does speak too. Because of my heritage, I am an outcast. Lord knows that feeling all too well. Or can, I don't know if you can call it a feeling, but anyway. Uh, is that why you're in here? No. There were three who taunted me into a rage. My blade was the first to leave its sheath, and so here I wait. Mm, you killed them? I did, and I regret nothing. Release from this existence shall bring me the peace which eludes me. So you want to die? I am trapped in this existence as an outcast through no fault of my own. I gladly accept my fate since it will bring me the peace which has eluded me. Well, is, isn't this guy pathetic or what? Go now, I do not wish to speak to you any longer. Well, I do not wish to speak with you any longer either. Good riddance.